super sexed bugs replace pesticides, sustainability at South by Southwest, and Plastiki sets sail to raise awareness about ocean pollution. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Tuesday, March 23rd. Scientists at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem have discovered an alternative to chemical pesticides, supersexed, sterilized male insects. More than 100 years of chemical pesticide use has led to super strains of insects that are resistant to ever more toxic and harmful pesticides. As a sustainable alternative, scientists are raising supersex sterile males for a given pest species. Once released into the wild, they dominate the female's reproductive cycle, resulting in a gradually diminished Finishing population of very satisfied yet unproductive females. Now I'd like to introduce a new segment to Planet 100. It's Biz Talk with Nick Astor. Triple Pundit and friends were at South by Southwest again this year, and more than ever before, sustainability found its way into the interactive curriculum. A hard-hitting keynote address by Valerie Casey set an ominous but inspirational tone. A packed to the gills happy hour brought sustainable media types together, and more than a few panels asked the question. What's interactive media's role in the greater sustainability conversation? Fortunately, the South by Southwest swag bag problem reared its head again this year with thousands of useless tote bags distributed full of paper bound for the trash can. Come on, guys. Thanks, Nick. And finally, a boat made of 12,000 plastic bottles has set sail on a voyage from San Francisco to Sydney to raise awareness about pollution in the world's oceans. The aptly named Plastiki Catamaran is the brainchild of environmentalist David de Rothschild, who set out on the 11,000 mile journey, which will sail past the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 News.